Example 7.1. In this example, we have air flowing in top of a flat plate of a length of 0.5 meters. The pressure of the air is 6 kilopascals and the temperature is 300 Celsius and is flowing at, an, at a velocity of 10 meters per second. We need to estimate the cooling rate per unit width in order to maintain the temperature of the plate at 27 Celsius. We assume the problem to be a steady, the pressure to be constant, the air to be incompressible, and to be no radiation. In order to obtain the properties for this problem, we go to the tables in the back of the textbook and notice that the, the properties are given to be at one atmosphere. However, since the pressure in this problem is kilopascals, we need to scale the properties to fit with this particular pressure. This is simply done by multiplying by the atmospheric pressure, which is 101 kilopascal, and divided by the current pressure of 6 kilopascal, so that you could get the given values. The first step in the analysis is to evaluate what type of flow we're evaluating. So we need to determine the Reynolds number. The flat plate, we're going to take it to be the fluid velocity, the length of the plate, and the kinematic viscosity. For the values that are given, the Reynolds number is around 95-97. Since this value is less than the critical value of the Reynolds number for a flat plate, which is equal to 5 times 10 to the fifth, that means that this flow is going to be laminar. Our goal is to be able to find out the heat loss per unit length, which is defined as Q prime is equal to H average uh, throughout the plate, length of the plate, T infinity minus Ts. All the information in this equation uh, we know. We know the length, T infinity, Ts. In order to find out Q prime, we need to find out what is the value of H average. In order to do that, we're going to first find out what is the nozzle number that is average in that particular length, and we're going to use the relationship so that we could find out the value of h. We're going to use the information provided in equation 7.30, which tells us that for a laminar flow, we have 0.664, the Reynolds number, to the one half, times the product number to the one third. Since we are going to evaluate it at the overall plate, the value of x is going to be equal to L. And when we could find that that the nozzle number average for L is going to give us 57.4. Having that information, we could find that that the convection coefficient, the average of it, is going to be equal to 14.4.18 watts per meter square k. Okay. Therefore, we could find that, that the heat loss per unit uh, width is going to be equal to 570 watts per meter. Please go back and make sure that you understand how we got the formula for the nozzle number, how can we select this particular formula, and be able to get those results.